system of Denmark. Well, if you were with us earlier, you will have seen Karolina Marin uh, beating another Russian player, Permanova, in two straight games. This is the second quarter of the draw. And in this sec section of the draw, we've also got uh, the seeded Zhang Beiwen representing the United States of America. Here is Evgenia Kosetskaya, tall a Russian athlete. And in fact, this women's singles is intriguing for fans of Danish badminton because these are the top two women's singles players in a Danish club that plays in the top league here in Denmark. In fact, it is the a club where my friend and colleague, Steen Pedersen, is the coach. And I can see him sitting in the row in front of me. I think he's going to watch this with eager anticipation. So the Dane will be turning 22 later this week. In fact, in two days' time. Uh, they have met once in international competition, and it was Anderson, uh, the Dane, okay. won on that occasion. It was the last 32 of the Austrian International Challenger event three years ago. It was three games, as you saw, 21-18 in the deciding game. So I'm quite, pretty certain that Evgenia of course, it's Gaia, will be well aware that her club coach is eagerly watching this. And neither of the players have actually had coaches come on to uh, court with them. Korsetskaya is 25 years of age from Chelyabinsk, which is in the Ural Mountains. Has a highest ranking of 20. That was a couple of years ago. Four weeks at 20 in the world, but currently 25, as you can see. Making her fifth appearance here at the Denmark Open. Three times she's lost in the first round. Last year, lost to the left-handed Aya Okori, who went on to the quarter-final stage. And it was three games last year for the Russian. So to the left-hander, Irina Amela Anderson, who, as I was saying, will turn... 22 in two days' time. 97 on the world ranking has been as high as 73. Third appearance here for the first time for three years uh, because for the last two years since the inception of the World Tour, we don't have qualifying at Super 750 events, which is what the Denmark Open is. So you have to go back to 2016 and 17 when the left-handed play last competed at the Denmark Open, her home event, and lost in the qualifying of uh, both times on her previous visits here. So the top-ranked Russian player, Kulsetskaya, hoping for a different result to the second-ranked Russian player that we saw Ready to earlier play. on Permanova losing in two straight games to Carolina Marin of Spain. So Fabio Beto is our umpire for this one. And service judge Hupes from Germany. Five individual tournaments at the beginning of this year for Korsetskaya. And five times lost in the first round. And Malaysian Masters, Indonesian Masters, Thailand Masters, Spain Masters, and then the All England Championships as well. So she'll be looking to win her first individual match of the year, Korsetskaya. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yevgenia Korsetskaya, Russia. And on my left, 
Irina Meli Andersen, Denmark. Irina Meli Andersen to serve. Love all. Play. So the left handed Irina Meli Andersen getting this match underway. Crikey, that's a, a great shot from Kosetskaya. So it's over. One love. Absolutely in the corner. Service over, one, oh. Ominous start, service error from the Russian. Well, she's going to challenge that, and I think she might be right with the challenge. Yeah, she's hanging on to the shuffle. She's pretty certain that did land wide of the singles court. Kosetskaya, silver medalist at the European Games of 2015 in Baku in Azerbaijan in the women's doubles. Crikey, it was never that far out. Correction out. Two, one. I really don't know what Play. happened there, but it certainly wasn't that far out. I think it may have been out, but certainly not that far. Oh. Yes, yeah, so now I was telling you about Kosek Skaya having won a silver medal in the women's doubles in the European Games in Baku. Last year at the European Games in Minsk in Belarus, won a bronze medal in the women's singles. The medal good. Both. European games that have ever happened. Four, one. Inaugural games in Baku in 2015. That's a lovely shot from Anderson. Great angle and Six, it was coming down one. so close to the net. Look at that. That's wonderful. Really making Kosetskaya move. Oh, it's been a very good start Service by over. the left-hander. Two, six. I suppose all the pressure on Kosetskaya. She's higher ranks, uh, plays first singles within the Danish club. Oh, that's a beauty. What a super shot. Hold and flick from the net. Played to perfection. Yeah, just inside the line. Deception from the net. Yeah, she's just getting into a rhythm Five, now. Six. Is Evgenia Kosetskaya. taken Six. took it early oh. just guided the shuffle cross court at the net 
Yeah, beauty. relaxed hitting style overhead isn't it of course it's Gaia watch this a little bit of slice imparted on that shot eight six oh, this is extraordinary seven straight points from one six down Service over. Seven, eight. Finally, that run comes to an end. Well, that has put a very different complexion on the early stages of this opening game. Oh, my goodness, what an angle. That's a super shot from Anderson. Eight, oh. Bisova, nine, eight. Yeah. Her racket preparation Ten, is almost identical for whatever her overhead shots. Kosetskaya, look at that, just rolling the racket head at the last moment to bring that down across court. Eleven, eight, interval. Three, one. So 10 of the last 12 points to get to the mid-game interval. Jeg tror god start her, jeg synes jeg blir litt forsiktig. Min angrepslag bliver uskarpe. Jeg synes faktisk, at vi spiller bagbanen ret fint. Ned i særings round det her. Til sidst får vi også lidt den flade med, når vi er oppe og er vi højt på forbanen. Når du ligger og stikker ned mod din, mod din forhånd, ikke? så lige nu så har vi enten spillet hårdt, eller også har vi spillet den bare langt ind i midten med dårlig kvalitet, så ligger man presser mod round det her. Så kan du bare give den lige. Ja, den helt lige, så vi ikke spiller samme vej hver gang. Well, that's her second service, Sarah. Service over, nine. Oh, so it's Guy. Deep in the forehand corner, Anderson. 12, 10. Oh, that's nice. Cross court net shot. I uh, couldn't follow it up, so. 13, 10. Oh. 
14, 10. And on court number two, women single. From the United States, five and seven. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Perfectly legitimate. Legitimate tactics hit straight at your opponent. 11, 14. Psychologically, it doesn't do you any harm either. Over. 15, 11. Well, since one six down, of course, that's Gaia, who's been a completely different player. Sarah Silva, 12, 15. Oh, it's cool goods. 13, 15. Well, I think there may have been a, a little hesitation from Kosetskaya. Should she challenge? No, that was on the line. Level. Well, well, well. Thank you. Oh, I thought this might be an interesting encounter. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that was a good response from Kosetskaya. 16, 15. It's about so handling well. nerves 16, right now, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's clearly in, and that to me the fact that Evgenia Kosetskaya actually left that one, that to me is a definite 16. sign that the Russian is struggling with her nerves. Make the wrong decisions when you're nervous. And Anderson back into the lead. Another sign of nerves 18, from Kosetskaya. 16. Uh, she's 17, impressive when she 18. really takes it early at the net. She's got so many options then. Hold and flick or the little block as she did on that occasion. Right. 
No, good follow up. 18, all. Crucial point. Oh, yes. 19 18. On a run of three straight points, regains the lead. Oh. Who can hold their nerve? No. Oh. Twenty game That's point. That's answered my question. 19. Needs to regroup because it's Gaia, because her opponent is on game point opportunity. No, that's well saved there. Very well saved. So that's 20 all, over. an extra point required when the, until there's a clear two point winning margin. Oh, my goodness me. 21, Fortune 20. For the Russian. Uh, Shuttle that block sat on the top of the tape and then crawled over. Game. So, having saved a game point, it is Evgenia Kosetskaya. Converts and takes a very tight opening game 22 20. It's the final rally. So. Yeah, she's got good straight down the line from that round of the head position Fuck. or cross court. 17 minutes for okay. that excellent opening uh, game. Der er lidt for meget, sker lidt for meget standard for en forhånd der. Det virker som om, nu vil vi kun løfte kryds, og vi kun spille defensivt kryds på kryds. Spil nu det lige hjørne også her. Også den lige def. Også så man slår kryds. Det kan du sagtens. Jeg spiller det simpelthen forstanden der. Godt du åbner op i perioder her, men det, det, det er stadig lidt forsigtigt. Nu spiller DF'en ind, så er det meget sikkert og meget høj. Med angrebslagene går vi meget tit til den der krydskotter. Sæt nu det hele på. Det er det, vi har aftalt. Det er en fedt at se her, at vi bruger saven og, og skaber lidt mere af det, vi gerne vil have her til sidst. Vi fortsætter med. Der er du god. Ja. Ja. Jeg, jeg synes også, den bliver lidt forsigtig. Kan vi ikke lige hælde hårdere til den? Måske også en gang imellem. Bare lige slå den hårdt ned langs linjen. Ja. Det bliver sådan lidt en bobler, hvor jeg slår lidt langsomt på den. Ja. Ja. Начинает, начинает, значит, ее розыгрыш раскачивать. И не торопись, если тебе неудобно, не нужно атаковать. Не нужно, попроще здесь надо поиграть. Видно, что она не хочет делать. Она хочет за 2-3 э, удара тебе забить. Mm -hmm. Да, она обманывает, да, она как бы там дергает. Ну, вот, теперь по ударам, смотри. Хорошая, острая срезка. Play. So one game to the good, Evgenia Kosetskaya, having survived a game point opportunity against her. Oh, that's perfection. One. Uh, saying right at the end of the opening game, what a lovely hitting motion she's got in the round the head position. She can hit straight or cross court. 
That was clearly demonstrated in the opening row. But here it is again. Over one all. Yeah. In dire trouble, and even the good shot being acknowledged by Kusetskaya. That's good sportsmanship. Off. And then apologises for her good fortune. Service over. Two, one. of the time One. when there's exchanges at the front of the courts it is Kosetskaya that's getting the better of the two players she's the one that's getting to the net first yeah and again perfect example five one Well, there was a scoreline of 6-1 in the opening game, and it was to this player's advantage. And yet she didn't win that opening game. So far from over yet, you know. Oof. Well, very lucky shot. Just missed it from... Well, so it's Gaia. Here we are again, trying to lift the shuttle. So badly deflected by the net cord, it's... Didn't go anywhere near the back, ended up as a sort of net shot. Missed it. Service over. Two, seven. Just wide. Three, seven. Service over. Eight, well, she perhaps three. feels that she's got to try and force from the front of the court, Anderson, because if I've noticed that Kosetskaya is getting the better of the two players at the front court area, she's almost certainly noticed Service as well. Over. Four, eight. There's got to be controlled aggression, so... Placement, Nine, great accuracy. <laughs> Service over, five, nine.
Oh, that's a little oh. wild, that one. Service over. 10-5. Eleven five. So to the mid game interval. Of course that's Gaia with the advantage, six point advantage. Having already won the first yet again. And the first really? player Hva? at the front court area. Yeah, and it does make such a difference. Uh, so so, so, so I don't know exactly what what that works for them, but I sit and think that enten skal vi sætte mere fart i den, eller også så skal du beslutte dig for at lægge helt en foran særlinjen med god kvalitet. Jeg tror bare, det er det sværeste. Så synes jeg, det er bedre, at du prøver at skubbe den hårdere ind. Den handler også om, at vi ikke nødvendigvis skal stå og slå ned under bolden hver gang. Ind i den. Træk den hårdt derind så. Det handler om, at vi skal åbne op. Fold os ud nu. 11-5. Play. Well, I think it's a case of now or never, as far as Anderson is concerned. Well, that's certainly helping her cause, that unforced Dennis error over. from Kosetskaya. 11. Seven, eleven. Three points since the resumption of play to the left hander. Eight, Service over twelve eight. A moment of magic from Anderson. Service over. Nine, Under extreme pressure 12. deep in her backhand corner. He comes up with a perfect cross court drop shot. How on earth did she do that? Yeah. There's a sign to me that she knows Service she's got to try and take 13, away the net area from Tulsets Gaia. Trying to close the net down, trying to dominate. Didn't work on that occasion, but I think she has to persevere. Service over, 10, 13. Service over, 14, 10. Please welcome the technical officials to the next match on ball number three. Yeah, well worked by the left-hander, Anderson. Service over, 11, 14.
just missed it. Service over. 15, it's a nice idea. 12. Wrong execution. Now, yeah. seeing it from that angle, we looked even further out. Oh, that was going wide. Anderson needn't have played that. 16, 12. The opponent from Belgium, Vian Ten. That's a couple of times in the last few rallies that Anderson has employed the body smash. And a couple of times she's won the point by it. Yeah, now Cosette's guy using the body attack. Three points away from recording her first ever win in the women's singles here at the Denmark Open. Okay, Poor Irina, get yeah. ready quicker. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Quite right, too. Thirteen. Oh, yes, it's great accuracy. Nice shot from Service Anderson. Over fourteen, nineteen. Well, has she left things a little too late to salvage this game and therefore the match, Anderson? Well, you never know. You just 15, never know with sport. 19. This is where Cosette's guy may start to get 19. a little edgy. Oh, she's going to challenge that. It's her first challenge of the match. Said Sky up. It was mighty close, I know that. I'm not in the best position to see down that line. Here we go. It was out. That's a great Direction challenge out. by Koset Sky up, and that Service challenge over. means that 20. she has four match point, match point opportunities. Good challenge. And converts on her first match point. 22-20 in the opening game, having saved the game points. 21-16 match won by in Yenke the second game. 22-20, Fabio Beto just confirming that scoreline. Final rally. 
and victory in two straight games. 22-20, 21-16 in just under 35 minutes. So just one more match to come this afternoon here in Odense. And it's mixed doubles and it's the married couple. The number three seeds, Chris and Gabby Adcock of England up against Patrick Charles. 